Mutiny, help us. Yes, okay, so what happened the other day? I won't. To Cabello. Ama no pet Yeah. 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 So we had a little bit of a mutiny in at my brother's house. The Michu said, I'm taking half the kids and I'm going back to Thailand. <laughs> and so she went down the road and then she came back. And then she went down the road again and she came back. And then we like, we like you know, it's too blooming hot in this bus. No, everybody's running out of patience. But, uh, uh, so anyway, so I not hippo hippo my belly lolly the hills are the jolla. Lots of times, just like being in the bus, you know, and the kids, and it's so hot outside that nobody can like deal with it, you know. So it's uh, so to be jet. So uh, everybody's like trying to find a way to cope. But what happened today is someone gives a whole lot of watermelons. Look at this. We got boxes of plums, okay. and carrots, and uh, we got watermelons. Last night I wondered what we were going to eat. And today we got a bunch of these watermelons in this box and plums and a little dancing girl. And so tell me. So, so, uh, you, you're, so, uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna take off, go back to Thailand, see you later, alligator, huh? And, uh, so it's like, you know, it's like, you know, well, you can, you can leave, you can do what you want, you know, go cool your heels somewhere, but, uh, um, Really, the heat, man, it was the too much, man. Apache Junction, hot in the bus every day. So, Nisope Ajay Bijan Jebyojime. Anyway, I think we survived the mutiny and uh, the mutiny on the bounty. This is the mutiny on the bus. <laughs> and I just keep bringing the food. And, uh, and, uh, and we try to just keep coping. And so, uh, that's how uh, we, we keep on keeping on. And so anyway, we thought that it was only fair that we talk about the fact that we sometimes have disputes and we have problems and how we work them out is important. So, So we pray and we ask for good things to come out about our life and our bus and our horse and our kids and each other and, the, and repairs. And so you, you, so my brother has a big house, and there's only a couple of them, and he wouldn't let any of us come inside where it was air conditioning. So uh, who wouldn't be a little bit pissed off? That's what, and you know, that's, I can understand no, that. I understand really, you know, family's family and they do what they do. But uh, that is the fact, you know, that uh, there's four of them in a really big air conditioned house, 2,400 square feet, and we're, we're in this bus with that little air AC unit stuck in the window, 5,000 BTU, and seven of us, and fans gone, and uh, that's how it was. And uh, yeah, that would little bend your piston rods a little bit well yeah my brother says why is that woman pissed off and I said well you know it's a little bit flipping hot in that bus and uh, so we we got the heck out of there but uh, <laughs> yeah, so she says your brother says I'm crazy and I say your family's crazy who wouldn't let kids in an air-conditioned house? What's the deal? You know, in Arizona, shoot. So, Aka, don't do it that way, huh? Aka, to matikola. So, the Aka in 100 years wouldn't keep their own family, their own brother and children. They wouldn't keep their brother's children out of an air-conditioned house if they had one, which some of them do. 
uh, they wouldn't do that in a hundred years. So there's a difference between Aka and Westerners. Is Akas are very much family. I know all of Michu's uncles, and they have their disputes, but they never behave like that. Uh, they, you know, if one of them loses a bunch of family money gambling, they cover the bet. They yell at each other and say, "Hey, you!" But uh, it's beyond that. That's it. And they pay the bill, and they don't ring it up the next day. They, I mean, they get along and. And uh, so there's a real difference between Aka families and Western families because Aka families, everything's about the family and keeping the money and, and, and keeping everything tight in the extended family. And everything is about protecting the money and the cattle and the crops and the land of the extended family. And that's all you got. And uh, in the West, it's everybody for themselves. There's very little uh, resemblance of family, a lot of backstabbing and stuff like that. And, uh, hey, you're the black sheep, you're out of here. And, and there isn't that. I don't know any black sheep in an Aka family. I mean, even know an Aka or two that were like little penny nickel dime thieves. And it was like, yeah, but he's a really good cook, so he takes a pound of meat. Who cares, man? He cooked for three days straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Michi says, when I first came to America, I thought I was the only one that noticed that like Western people were flipping out of their minds, man. And then when I met the other Akas in America, and I said, hey, you know, the, the Aka sure don't behave like this is, is is this am I the only person to notice it and the other alcohol said no 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 that's right you're right man it's uh, you're not mistaken you you're right about that it's it Aka don't do like that you know I mean air-conditioned house and you don't let your uh, your brother's kids come inside out of the heat uh, when it's like you know 113 outside and you're fighting the, the air conditioning in a little tiny bus uh, 